This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast for this Friday, November 10th. And as I say, every Friday when Mark is away, we made it. (laughs) We got through. Ah, the weekend's almost here. You can feel it. And of course, another big weekend here in the Quinty area as Remembrance Day is tomorrow. And we talked about that this morning, the ceremonies and uh, moments of silence that will be held, of course, across the country, around the world, but here locally as well at area cenotaphs and legions. And we will touch on that right after we hear from Simple Desk. Simple Desk in Trenton is your ultimate destination to streamline, market, and strengthen your business's brand. Jenny, the visionary behind Simple Desk, has built a team of qualified business growth experts with experience in marketing, design, and operations to help grow and scale your business. Simple Desk is the mastermind behind Brazen, a full-day experiential event for women by women. This full-day experiential event on May 31st, 2024 is packed with networking, vendor booths, exciting giveaways, delicious food, and a speakers panel of incredible female entrepreneurs sharing their inspiring stories. Tickets are on sale now. For all the details and to buy your tickets before they sell out, visit simpledesk.ca slash brazen and be sure to follow brazen on Instagram at brazen events one. So yes, much of this morning was spent talking about Remembrance Day and just just driving that home uh, area cenotaphs and legions, the services that will be held tomorrow um, made mention of the fact that Sterling's ceremony uh, service was moved to the Herald Cenotaph. So shuttles will be running at 1015 tomorrow from the Sterling Legion, taking people out to pay their respects. Tonight in Quinney West, they will be holding a candlelight vigil. The Legion will be putting that on, uh, I believe, at 7. They're inviting everyone to come and gather at 6.30, and then the service will begin at 7, and then, of course, services tomorrow at 11. The full list at inquinty.ca, and that's what we were really talking about, driving people to visit Inquinty, because there's so many. Of course, every... Every community will be holding their own service tomorrow. So if you need um, more information about a service near you, again, check out in Quinty. You may not even know about some of the services that take place. Also going on tomorrow, a special flyby over parts of Quinty. Uh, these flybys, as we heard from Jason this morning, happening across the country and Quinty, the Quinty region did make it on the list. So Hastings, Ivanhoe and Madoc will be treated to a Griffin helicopter flying overhead tomorrow as part of the remembrance marking of Remembrance Day. Tonight, the Belleville Sens will be uh, having their military appreciation night. Over 500 tickets were given out to military members. There will also be displays set up throughout the CAA arena, including from the uh, National Air Force Museum. They will have a display as well. The team themselves will be marking the evening and paying their respects to our military members. It's just going to be a really great night. So if, if you'd like to go and pay your respects and take in a a game of hockey, of course, you can get your tickets through the BellevilleSends.com. So we were talking Remembrance Day mainly this morning day uh, because it does fall tomorrow on Saturday. So our last opportunity to really get the word out there and really uh, share with people the information they may need to take in a local service in their area. And then coming up during your work day, uh, I came across an interesting article. So this week was the Alzheimer's Society's used book sale um, at the Bayview Mall. Always, uh, Margaret lives for these book sales, and it is. It's always uh, a great fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Society and a great opportunity to get out and find just a great read. There is nothing like finding a good book. So when I came in this morning, funny enough, um, as that sale wrapped up, today I see it. It would have been helpful to see it a day or two ago, but you can keep this in mind for the next Alzheimer's Society used book sale. Um, but Good Readers or Good Reads has put together their 76 most popular books from the past decade. So think about that. Go back to 2013. From their editorial staff, this list was created. Uh, it was ranked by popularity, and then it was listed as read. Uh, going to read, need to read kind of categories. And you can scroll through yourself and have a look. I started to go through these, but there are some great books on this list. And I was pleasantly surprised that I had read a few of them. 
<laughs> some big ones, um, including the Alice Network. This one really stood out to me because it was recommended by a friend, and I'm recommending it now to you. If you haven't read the Alice Network, which is about um, women spies during World War II, it is such a good read. I highly recommend it. So you, that's on the list, of course, as is maybe some more. Uh, this is a popular list. So some that have been made into movies, some we've seen recently on the big screen, including Where the Crawdads Sing and Girl on the Train, also on this list. Uh, authors include Michelle and Barack Obama. So there are some biographies. Yes, Prince Harry's book, Spare, is on there. You want to talk about popular? That was a big one this past year. Margaret Atwood, uh, Sally Rooney, a few of her books also on this list. But it, it ranges. It's everything from fiction, nonfiction, to historical books, uh, drama, romance, every kind of genre. It is quite a list. It's up on our Facebook page, the 95.5 Hits FM Facebook page, if you'd like to have a look for yourself and to find a good book. Maybe you're struggling. I, you go through phases, right? You get stuck on an author, not stuck, but you get drawn in by an author and that's all you want to read. And then you just want to switch it up a little bit. And that's when you really get surprised. That's when those little gems, those treasures really come out and you find that that book that sticks with you um, afterwards. That's that's how you know it's a good book, when it stays with you. And there really is nothing like it. Now that we're heading into colder weather, it's the perfect time to pick up a book or two and get lost in its pages for a little while, depending on how much time you have. <laughs> Again, nothing like it. So if you missed it this time around with the used book sale, don't worry. Alzheimer's Society used book sale. There will be another one coming up early next year. I want to say February or March. They have their first book sale. It's about every three months and uh, always a great opportunity to find that perfect read and just curl up and enjoy. So we talked about that this morning during your work day. Coming up next week, uh, Mark remains on holidays. So yeah, you're stuck with me again. Sorry. <laughs> but coming up Monday morning, it is our final Beat the Bank play of the season, courtesy of Sandra Hussey. And wouldn't it be amazing if we gave away $10,000? It would be diabolical. It would be incredible. Oh, my goodness. I would be so excited. And you would be, too, if you were playing, if you have the guts to go that far. Because as we say every week, you really need to you have to be able to say no to $500. You have to be able to say no to $1,200. You have to be able to say no to $6,000 in order to get to the $10,000. And it could very well happen on Monday if you've registered. Uh, your chance to do that throughout the weekend. So be listening for the opportunity, the cue to get to our website. Your name and number, that's all we need. And you could be called Monday morning. I could be calling you about 7.30 Monday morning to play our final Beat the Bank this season. It's going to be a lot of fun. Galaxy of Games will also be back on Monday. Your chance to win with our Monday morning mashup. And we're going to be speaking with Marlene Bennett. Perhaps you've seen the Bennett's Furnishings commercials. Marlene is the spokesperson as well as owner and accessories buyer, I learned, for Bennett's Home Furnishings. They have a great event coming up the last week of November. It is a benefit to local hospitals. Bennett's themselves located in Campbellford. Kingston and Peterborough, they are having a designer tree benefit where you might actually get to win a designer tree and enjoy just an evening out uh, heading into the holiday season. But this will benefit the local hospitals in Campbellford, Peterborough, and Kingston uh, through your ticket purchases. And we will get more details from Marlene coming up Monday morning, part of Mark and Charity Mornings. You've been listening to the Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. Thanks so much for spending your time with us.